Welcome to the Moroccan Blogger Show. My name is Hassan, and this is your first episode of the show. All right, so just so you know, this is not your typical internet marketing or affiliate marketing show. We're not just going to be pushing products to your face. We're not just going to be reviewing products or having guests that have upcoming launches. We're not just going to try and milk money out of you. This is going to be the real thing where we actually talk about things. It's not just going to be promotions, promotions, product launches and stuff like that. We are going to be promoting products, of course, but it's not going to be an every episode. And even when we have guests over, they're not always going to have something to promote. And we want you to keep that in mind. This is not your sellout kind of commercial thing. So it's just, you know, the real deal. That's why I decided to start this first episode with, you know, a one man show where I just talk about myself and introduce myself to everybody. That's why this, this, the main topic of this episode is how do you get started? So like, how do you get started in this business? I mean, it's a lot of people, especially the ones who are already successful, making money, already quit their jobs, already have, you know, something that, you know, um, can prove themselves. You know, like the people that you want to refer to as the people who have already, you know, crossed the line, have gotten, have achieved their dream, have, you know, made it into a plan. And it's their everyday life now. You know, it's not just them having a nine to five job and having to do this on the side, like a lot of people especially everyone who's starting out. So how do you get started? Especially in in this day and age where you have, especially people who are married, who have kids, who have a lot of responsibilities, and they have very little time. I mean, this business is huge. If you just talk about affiliate marketing, um, people market on Facebook, like people use an email to market their um, offers, People working in the make money online niche, people making and working in other niches like the health niche or the, the weight loss niche. And anything kind of requires a little bit of work, at, you know, up front before you actually start seeing results. And you kind of have to put in money. So I always ask that my, my, this kind of question um, when I was starting out because I've, like most of us, um, what I've done is I've tried so many things. I've tried SEO, I've tried PPC, I tried um, so many other, you know, kind of just uh, little things here and there that just didn't work out. And to be honest, it, it, at, at so many points in, in my life, I decided oh, this is just not gonna be, it's not gonna be worth it, you know? But the resilience and the persistence, you know, didn't didn't die off. So I kept trying. I kept trying until I actually stumbled upon the one, the one uh, strategy, the one business model that works. And for me, I mean, not everybody, you know, uh, kind of just does the same thing. And for me, it was email marketing. It was email. It was collecting emails. It was promoting affiliate products. It was making commissions. It didn't require a lot. It required a little bit of money and, you know, work, obviously, at, at first. But as soon as I hit the road uh, and I started, started rolling with it, money started coming in, you know, and I you know, regained confidence in this industry and in this business model that it's still alive. You know, even if I started really late, like uh, late 2013, knowing that I've been trying a lot of methods, a lot of money making methods in... Um, it's 2008, 2009, you know, so for so many years, I've just been trying and trying until I actually hit it big in 2013. And I started making some um, real income that actually can, can help me change the, my lifestyle. And um, for me, the lesson was just not to give up, you know, just not give up. Do your best until you actually hit it big. I know a lot of people may, who make it big in mobile applications. I mean, uh, they just started in late 2012, late 2013, and they started making real money, you know, real life-changing amounts of income um, really late because the, the mobile industry kind of blossomed and boomed uh, in the last few years with the, with the introduction of, you know, uh, iPads and smartphones and all of that. A lot of people um, hit it big in the SEO game, even after what happened with the Google updates. 
um, they saw that they saw an opportunity there and a lot of people were like well a lot of people gave up because they think it's harder now but they just get you know uh, they uh, stayed the course and it's been off big even with all the threats the Google threats that, that, that you know loom every month or so um, a lot of people are also making it in so many other industries like Amazon or um, niche websites and so many things I know people now who are making it big on Fiverr I mean when you hear Fiverr if you don't know what Fiverr is it's just a service website like freelancer but everything starts at five dollars when it just when it was just starting out it was only five dollars but um, now you can add a lot more you know what they call them perks or extras for a lot more money so if you want to get a logo uh, you pay five dollars but if you want a logo and a vector file and a PSD file you have to pay extra so the seller ends up making more money off of you from just one order so that's why we have a lot of um, uh, we have a lot of you know sellers who are making it really big now it just in something as simple as Fiverr there's also a lot of um, money a lot of people who uh, started in one uh, what you call it one money making method or strategy like CPA cost per action marketing and they as they as they like to say stayed the course you know they didn't give up easily and that's 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 the thing don't give up that's the lesson of this of this episode is that you have to choose something you're comfortable with something you can actually start and finish I mean you, you can't really finish it really but as when you start and, and you gain momentum you are going to make a ch change in your life. You are going to start money, start seeing money coming in. You are going to, you know, be able to change your life because um, this business is real. And it's getting to become a little bit more mainstream now. Um, a lot of bloggers, you hear a lot of bloggers who are making it big. A lot of people who just own Facebook pages who are making, making the headlines now. There's just so much now. And 2015, that is... Uh, making this whole industry, this whole working online thing, this web entrepreneurship thing, a little bit more mainstream. Uh, back in 2005, if you talk to anybody about um, doing business online, they'd think you were doing porn or something, you know, kind of illegal online. But no, that's not the case anymore. People know that the internet is a vital part of their lives, and just working on it is basically almost like having a, a brick and mortar business. Another thing I want to talk about is how business in general is difficult. And that's the assumption. That's the assumption that a lot of people have. Something I want to talk about, something I want to tell you, I want you to learn, other than the fact that you shouldn't forget, shouldn't you know give up on your, your plan, is that a lot of people assume business is hard because they're comfortable wherever they are. You know, you know what they say when they comfort zone. I don't want to get out of my comfort zone. A lot of people don't say it like that. Don't say it out loud. But when you just mention to people that you're working on a business or that you're doing something unusual, like not having a job and you know working from home, or when you can't mention that to the people, they just look at you weird. You know, they just think you're taking a risk and you're crazy. But nothing has ever been achieved in this world without people having to take risks. We wouldn't have electricity, we wouldn't have anything if one or whatever, whatever individuals who created those things did not take a risk. And there's just so many examples out there. And here in this industry, it's actually the safest one to take risk a risk at. Because you're not gonna be you know pouring um, tens of thousands of dollars in a business. No, all you need is couple thousand dollars and you know and you're good to go you just have you just need the right strategy the right path to follow and you'll actually make it this is something that you have to know there is really no risk to take even if you think there is but yeah maybe you have to work which is you know um, it's not gonna happen overnight but um, it's it's going to happen you just have to stick to it you just have to stick to it if because if you don't you know nothing's gonna change in your life and there's so many quotes out there and I like quotes you know like um, and it, one that I like um, among many is it says 
in the end, the only things we regret are the things we didn't try or we didn't do. So, you know, just go out there, especially if you're young. Even if you're married and have kids and have a lot of obligations in life, it's not going to kill you to work for two hours a day. Believe me, it's not going to. I mean, if it takes you up to a year to choose whatever path, that's okay. But just don't give up. That's the lesson for today, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I am looking forward to seeing you um, in the next few episodes because we are having we're gonna have some huge, big name affiliates. Uh, I want to call them affiliates, big name um, people in this industry. If you're ever familiar with any of them, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have a good time um, uh, checking us out. So until next time, thank you for watching.